Hi everyone, you're welcome to Case Music Piano Lesson and today I'll be teaching you three things you have to learn and know before playing the piano and we'll go straight on without wasting any of our time. Thank you. Now the first thing you have to learn is knowing the names of the keys on the piano. So what does that mean? We have music and then we have a musical language which we call the keys or the sofas ascribed to music. Now there are 12 of them. Um, we have seven major keys and five minor keys. So as I was saying, we have seven major keys and five minor keys. You have to know these keys if you really want to learn the, to play the piano or you want to be a musician. So I'm going to teach you uh, what are all these keys. So you have to start practicing them. Now going from my left, extreme left, we have, um, you can understand in, in terms of the variation in colors, we have two types of colors on the keyboard. We have the white colors. You can see this part of this, this side of the uh, keyboard is white. And then we have the black colors. So we can ascribe the white colors to be the major keys, which we know, I, like I said, there are seven of them. And then the black are the accidental or the minor keys, and then there are five. But you're going to ask yourself, I'm seeing a whole lot of keys here. So how, 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 why is it five or seven keys and, or 12 keys in general? So going through my left hand, um, extreme left here, I'll explain. This first key is called C. Just like we have in our alphabetical order. The second key is called D. This third key is called E. F. D. 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 I'm back to C. So let me go again. C. D. E. F. D. D. E. So let me count it. So these are the seven major keys on the keyboard. C, D, E, F, G, E, D. Now what happened is they repeated this sequence all over and all over again. So C, D, E, F, G, E, D. Back to C, D, E, F, G, E, D. Back to C, D, E, F, G, E, D. And so on and so forth. So what we actually have here are seven major keys that are repeated five, six, or even seven times on the piano. Now, the same goes to the minor key, uh, or keys rather. So if I come here, we have two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now you're going to ask me, why am I not mentioning their names? Well, the black keys, like I said, they are accidental or minor keys. So because of that, they really don't have a fist name. So each of these black keys is related to a white key. So in our last lesson or in this same lesson, as time goes on, I will explain better when I'm going to talk about the next uh, point or, or, of reference. So you will know how to um, identify and give names to the black keys. So we have for the white, C, D, E, F, G, A, D. Then for the black, we can call this C sharp. We can call this D sharp. We can call this F sharp. We can call this G sharp. We can call this A sharp. Okay. Now the thing is, it is repeated again. One, two, three, four, five. Again, one, two, three, four, five. Again, one, two, three, four, five. So, for the first thing you have to learn if you want to play the keyboard, the names of the keys. We have C, D, E, F, G, A, D. So, you can learn them on your own, on your own free will. Now, 
the next thing you have to learn is identification of keys. And you say, wow, yeah, that is very important because if you know the names of the keys, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, like as, as, as we spot it, you should be able to identify them anywhere you see them on the keyboard or on the piano. So the easiest way for you to identify them, I'm going to show you that now and then you'll be you're able to put it into practice on your own. Now for the first key, coming to the middle of the keyboard, okay, we have our key C. Key C is the key or the major key directly before the twin blacks. So you're going to ask, what do you mean by twin blacks? Now, if you see the structure of the keyboard, you have two black keys and we have three black keys. We have two black keys and three black keys. So immediately before every or any black uh, twin black keys is called our key C. Any key that is behind the twin black is C. So we can identify on your own, identify every C on your keyboard. You see? It is always in, uh, uh, immediately before the twin blacks. Now the next key to identify is our key D. It is always in between every twin blacks. So anywhere you see twin blacks, the white key or the key in between is our key D. So you can see them. Now the next key is key E. It is the key immediately after the twin blacks. This is it. Twin blacks and this is E. Immediately after. Now the next key or major key is key F. Now we've left the twin blacks, we're going to the triplet blacks. Key F is the key immediately before the triplet, triplet blacks. I'm sorry. So anywhere you see triplet blacks, the key immediately before them is called your key F. Key F. Now next key is G. Key G is immediately... Uh, or rather, sorry, in between the first two triplet blacks. So these are the triplet blacks, and this is the first two. So the key in between the first two triplet blacks is your key G. So anyway, you see the triplet blacks, the first two triplet blacks, the key in between them is called your key G. And next key is your A. Key A is the key in between the last two triplet blacks. So these are the last two triplet blacks, and it's called the key A. So it's your A. Anywhere you see the triplet blacks, the last two triplet blacks, the key in between is your key A. Now the last key for the major keys is called key B. This is the key immediately after the triplet blacks. So you can identify C as immediately before the triplet, uh, the twin blacks, just wrapping things up. Then key D in between the tw twin blacks, key E immediately after the twin blacks, key F immediately before the triplet blacks, key G in between the first two triplet blacks. Key A in between the last two triplet blacks and key B immediately after the triplet blacks back to C. So you can put this into practice before you start learning the key. Okay, now. Uh, we've talked about identification of keys and in our first lesson we talked about names of keys the major keys and we focused on C, D, E, F, G, A, B 
Now we're going to talk about the last thing we have to learn or you have to know before you learn the keyboard or the piano. And that will be key octaves. So just to wrap things up, the names of the keys, we have C, we have D, we have E, we have F, we have G, A, B. And for the black keys, if this is your C, like we know this is C, the black key after C is called your C sharp. And if this is D, the black key before D is called your D flat. So it's a little bit confusing, but what I'm just trying to say is each black keys have two names. So the name is either for the key, white key behind it or the white key after it. So I can call this black key in respect of C. So I call it C sharp. Or I can call it in respect of in respect of D. I can call it D flat. Same goes with this next black key. Now this is D. This is another black key. I can call this D sharp. And this is E. I can as well call it E flat. So a flatten of it. E flat. So the same thing with this one. This is F. I can call this F sharp. This is G. I can call it G flat as well. So the same thing with this one, this is G, I can call this G sharp, and this is A, I can call it A flat. The same goes to this last one, this is A, I can call this A sharp, and this is B, I can call it B flat. So that is how we name the black keys, the accidental keys. Okay, so going back to our lesson now, our key octaves. Now, what is an octave? An octave comprises of 12 keys. So, when we successfully get to 12 keys on the keyboard, we call that an octave. So, what do I mean by that? If this is C, C sharp, D, B flat, E, F, F sharp, G, A flat, A, B flat, and B. This is an octave already. two octaves now so let's assume I'm on C I just play two octaves my left hand is playing one octave while my right hand is playing another octave so if I play from C to C is one octave if I play from here it is another octave and if I continue it is another octave so that is how it is. So an octave comprises of 12 keys. So you have to know this because certain songs you're going to play, certain melodies you're going to learn, you might learn them on different octaves. You know, so... Now you see what I'm doing? I'm playing my left hand as like a bass line, but I don't, I don't come uh, get to play it on this octave because it's going to sound uh, a little bit too light, you know? to come down or to have that little bit of bassy feel you know so so that is it now to wrap things up again we learnt names of keys how to identify these keys and then when we group these keys together they are 12 in number the, we have an octave and most keyboard for us that want to learn the piano, just have this in back of your mind. We have different sizes of keyboards or piano. We have four octave pianos or keyboard. We have five octaves. We have six octaves. And the last is seven octaves. So how do you know how many octaves your keyboard or your piano is or, or uh, consists of? It's for you to start from the beginning of the piano. Let's say from here. You count one, two, three. That is from C to B, one octave. Another C to B, another octave. 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 As many as you can count, and then you know, oh, this is five octave keyboard, or this is six octaves keyboard, or this is seven octaves keyboard. So, thank you very much. And then, uh, if you found this video useful, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. 
below. Thank you very much.